Now, usually I let Terrible Ted take care of my junk mail. This one here is from a newspaper. They're trying to get me to uh, subscribe. Oh, I'm going to save 50%. Well, when we did try and get it delivered up here, it never got delivered on time. And when it did get delivered, it was uh, it just wasn't worth it because it's that thick. So anyways, I don't want it, don't ever want it, and I also don't want the junk mail. Thankfully, they have taken care of that problem for me by giving me this handy-dandy envelope. So I'm going to let them know that I no thank you, and I'm going to uh, send them their envelope back too because there's no reason that I should have to throw away their junk mail. Go with no thanks. My handwriting sucks, but I'm sure they'll get that. No thanks is fairly readable. This is not going to fit in there, so I'm going to have to fix that. close but not not quite close enough yeah that should do it so go in here boy their own envelope barely fits <laughs> I guess they planned on somebody probably doing what I'm planning on doing but that doesn't matter because I will make it fit no matter what Looks like I have to trim a little bit more off mine. That's okay. That is okay. There, that fits much better. Right down to the last scrap here. Moving the piece that's trapped in the placemat. Come on. There you go. I don't want them to miss one, one little bit of this. Oh, and as a bonus, you can almost see the no thanks. Oops. There we go. Yeah, you can just barely see that coming through. But that's okay. Now I'll mail that back to them. That'll fit. Not violating any postal codes. I'll get that in the mail tomorrow. And uh, hopefully they'll get the message and take me off on their list. Because I already let them know in no uncertain terms I didn't want any more phone calls. Uh, apparently the mailing department's a different group of guys. Excellent. One piece of junk mail down. Got more to go.